The man without his hat is back, and this time, he's bringing his dad. Junior! Kevin Shurka here, the Indiana Jones nerd yet again, and here I am up in Chino Hills at the Harkins Theater, and I'm about to watch the 40th anniversary screening of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh man, it's amazing to be here. Kids watching the VHS at home. Every second of it. I really, really enjoyed it. I just can't wait till the fifth one. After the screening, we went to a meetup of Indiana Jones super fans, the California Jones community. They showed off their incredible costumes, fantastic collection of props, and daring whip skills. Professional whip master Isaac Eliason even gave me a tutorial. You can find info on his whip store down in the description. My fellow indie fans told me why they loved Indiana Jones. You know what, he's an everyman. He's, you know what, he's got, he's got faults, he's got, uh, so he's not superpowers and stuff, you know, he gets knocked down, but he gets back up again. So. I mean, that was like one of the first movies I watched when I was a kid, like on my old VHS tape, that sense of adventure, romance, uh, fear, and, you know, and air support. Yeah. You know, can't go wrong with that guy. I love Indiana Jones for so many reasons. As a character, he's so real. He's he's a flawed hero. Just the adventure of it all, the thrill of a lifetime that you can always just imagine to go on. And I just love the whole mythos about the Bible, but then they threw it in with their archaeology and just all of that in Nazi and World War II was great. That was all. That was what got me. Yeah, for <laughs> I'm sure. Fun in this. It's a great, great. Just a sense of adventure. The respect for history and historical artifacts. As a historian myself, it just, it's so nice to have a film hero who strives to protect such important artifacts of history. Well, I just like the character and like the actor. And... It was just such a nostalgic feeling when you watch it, even if it's like the first time, it just feels like that little kid adventure. Um, I don't know, it's so, so awesome. Well, I saw the first movie in 1981, and so we just got our tickets and went in, and we're just, of course, blown away from the very opening scene, you know, where yeah, the giant boulders are all rolling down, and it just, it just got you. From the I have always loved the films, the attraction at Disney, just the sense of adventure, and I recently found this community, and it is so much fun to just get together and speak out about our favorite hero. <laughs> it's wonderful. Yes. Um, I think just how brave he is. Um, you know, he has his fears, but other times he's going to just like jump right into something. And you know, when I was a teenager, stepped into early adulthood, uh, it just encouraged me to be brave, to be bold, and uh, just seek out adventure. So, yeah, and it's also good action. I love that he uses the whip. So. Yeah. Uh, I love the whip. Yeah. Uh, I think the whip's really cool. Um, yeah, it's it's what got me started on my business and everything. So. And yeah, Joseph himself is the true always comes up short, always ends up from persevering. So he's an inspiration, I think, for for everyone. He's, he's like, in my opinion, he's like the latest man. He's, he's everything. He's not perfect. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, and of course, you have a great get up. I love the spider here. Oh, that's <laughs> I forgot that was there. As for their favorite indie film, the results were mixed. Uh, Last Crusade. Um, Raiders. As a, as a cinema buff, my favorite is definitely Raiders of the Lost Ark, but the one that's closest to my heart is Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Um, definitely Raiders. Mm -hmm. I think it's the Last Crusade. Would you say it's your favorite Indian yes. movie? Yes, oh definitely. Yeah. I know that's everyone says Raiders, but <laughs> for me it's Last Crusade. It's a tough, I love Raiders, but I got a lot of love for Temple of Doom. Okay, oh Temple of Doom. Nice. Yeah, I like that. You know what, because it was, it was basically the Empire. Of Raiders, your favorite? Oh yeah, yeah. The hands down is the best. Um, and if if it didn't exist, I would say that Last Crusade is. Yeah, it's a tough one. Those are both so good. Oh yeah. Well, it has to be Last Crusade. All right, that's perfect. the only movie I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Temple of Doom. Okay. Yeah, no, it's kind of the least popular of the original three, but. Yeah. Uh, I just love the pacing. Like once it gets to that like middle point, it just really takes off. Yeah, that's true. Like the whole yeah. second half of the movie, after Shorty saves him, it's just like all smiles. Just, yeah, nonstop action. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, the first one actually, because Marion is my favorite, and that's where you see her out drink that big guy. Oh. Yeah. And I think I could do the same, and I fell in love with her after that. <laughs>
Uh, number three, Last Crusade. Raiders by far. I like them in order, actually. Okay. And of course, next summer's Indiana Jones 5 was on everyone's mind. Uh, I think it's going to be good. I think James Van Gogh's going to do a good job. I don't know. I'm just I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, for sure. It's been a long time, and it's just let's hope it's going to be a lot better. I, I have good feelings about it since Logan was really good. We got to direct Logan. So, yeah, it's it's going to be a classic. Yeah. It's going to be good. Indy is Indy, no matter what he does. I don't care if he's 90. He's aged, so the movies should age. Let's hope that they do it justice. I did hear that they want to send him to space. I don't think that's going to happen, but, you know, who knows now with these days and movies and yeah. what they do. <laughs> I'm just hoping that, seeing as how this is going to be Harrison's true last hurrah, that it is the send-off that Indy deserves as a character. I think the opening scene will be a flashback with CGI Harrison Ford. That's what the rumors are saying. Yeah. A really good female sun villain or perhaps love interest. I don't know. I'm really hoping. And nothing to do with aliens this time. Yes. Please. Please. <laughs> Please. As long as it's better than Crystal Skull, that's all I want. <laughs> it's just going to be exciting to have more Indiana Jones. It's going to be a story. I'm optimistic for it. Uh, the guy who either plays his companion or the villain, the guy who played Dr. Zola. Yeah. It's going to be awesome to see in it. I'm, I'm willing to have a send-off that this is his last adventure. I don't want to see him die, though. Yeah. Um, but knowing that James Mangold is leading this whole yeah, thing, yeah. I love Pretend to Yuma, the remake that he did, I think in 2007, uh, sometime around then. Um, and that movie just had great pacing. And uh, we're also uh, not going to have CGI monkeys. Oh, yes, definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> I had a great afternoon meeting this group of fans. If you are located in Southern California, you should definitely check out California Jones through the link in the description and join us for the next event. Let me know what you did to celebrate the 40th anniversary and be sure to hit that subscribe button because I'm going to keep you informed of all the Indiana Jones news to come as we set our sights on Indy 5. Thank you all so much as always and I wish you all fortune and glory. Bye bye now.